Yo, what's going on everyone? Xforce Global here back with another Bitcoin update. I know everyone keeps requesting these Bitcoin videos and I'm doing my best, but the way to get these continued updates is to show your massive love and support by liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. So please make sure to do that if you haven't already. Now taking a quick recap of what we were expecting on the larger timeframes and from our previous analysis on social media, we were looking for a possible wave one termination of the primary degree in the yellow circle and looking for a wave two pullback. We had a lot of evidence leading up to that from last week but the biggest giveaway was that we had a clear five way move up in the intermediate degree as indicated by the orange parentheses labeled numbers so so we also had the suspicion that the cme gap was significant enough to catch our attention as anything larger than a thousand dollar gap is most likely going to be filled the sooner the better and we are already in that zone as we speak so a fantastic opportunity if you took a short from that top from our previous videos again none of this is financial advice as i'm just merely here to educate the methodology and accuracy behind the Elliott Wave theory. So if we take a quick recap of what we were expecting both on my public social media page and private Discord membership group, I did my best to narrate the overall possibility of how the pullback was going to happen. And along the way, I tried to do my best to also narrate it as it was happening live. This is just more of the general overview of what to expect, but I do get my micro counts within the group as well. And so far, the overall goal is now inching closer and closer to a possible conclusion um, at the very least for a relief bounce or a very quick and swift one two retracement. So if you're interested and want to join the private Discord membership group, please don't hesitate to reach out with the link in the description below. I'm also proud to announce that we have a new Patreon membership that will we'll that will be giving you access to even more exclusive Bitcoin video updates as we're now working on a schedule for these YouTube video updates. So if you're interested in that, that is also in the description below. It's more of an add-on and mentorship approach that also includes the live streams. So going right back into the larger time frame, as you can see, we are still working on the narrative that a larger degree wave three and four is still the main idea that we're working upon as we don't want to cluster up too many scenarios and just picking up uh, one scenario that is going to be eventually right. I try to show my analysis analysis with conviction as much as possible. And with that being said, we have a pretty clear ABC in the primary degree that completed the larger degree wave four. And we're now finally working for um, this one too, before a larger wave three to the upside as an assumption to happen for the larger degree fifth wave as we need to complete the parent degree fifth wave that is followed by this wave four that is going to be constructed as five waves in itself. It's as simple as that and no real need to complicate it. So to construct this wave four termination right here, all we are looking for is an ABC, either as a flat idea that many see it as, and also just like I have it here, is that I like to see this as a possible ABC normal zigzag where we have this termination point for wave B. Uh, as such, it just seems to have a better look on the macro. Now remember, ABCs are constructed of two actionary waves within a normal zigzag where waves A and C are going to be your actionary waves. Typically, you want to be building your wave A's as five wave moves or impulse structures, but we can also alternatively construct it as a diagonal as we see here where it is characterized by overlapping waves ultimately building a contracting look comprised of zigzags or zigzag families within that diagonal wedge or a 53535 structure that is only applicable to the leading diagonal pattern so that is the overall macro structure and how to count it now i know you guys are interested in how to count this wave one two primary degree so let's dive deeper into the shorter time frames so if we dive deeper into the shorter time frames, again, we were expecting this move up and we're expecting this move down. Now we are trying to figure out how this move is going to be concluding, right? So on the shorter time frame or the medium time frame, we have a few possibilities of how our parent degree wave one has completed. Now it just depends on the termination point on how you want to see this overall wave one being completed. As we have it here for the first scenario, we can say that this whole move up was constructed simply as five waves with the termination point being at the most top level where the price is terminated. That would be just be the most simple approach, right? Uh, anything after that, the price action now has to be constructed as some kind of co uh, corrective structure to help build our narrative that we're truly um, working for a wave two. And that divides our scenarios even further as you dive deeper into the uh, the, the shorter time frames to understand where the termination points for our first wave A is going to be. Now, it's getting extremely tricky here, ladies and gentlemen, because there is no real clear separation that gives a clear ABC, nor a clear impulsive structure to the downside because of the 
the overlaps that we had that also gave us some possible false signals as we had here for this possible b wave where we were looking for a higher b wave but that didn't happen and in that case we also see the uh, saw the price action move even lower and it looks like price is even moving lower as we speak so this may be turning even bearish if we start breaking these major fibonacci levels but for now since we're still working on the narrative that we're looking for a possible um three wave um family type of uh, structure uh, we're now looking for a possible WXY as we have it here because I really can't count this as an impulsive structure, but I can count it as an impulsive structure if it starts to terminate soon as we don't want to be seeing this as a larger wave one, two, three, that'll be part of a larger bearish structure. So we'll very, very keep a close eye on how this is going to be transitioning if this will even transition into a bearish scenario. But for the time being, since we're still working for that one, two possibility, the only real way that I'm seeing this now and to keep separations as clear as possible is seeing this as a possible wave A where we have five wave structure into a wave A. This being a very short wave B, originally we were anticipating this to be an ABC or an, an ABC to the upside where we were looking for this to be the first actionary wave A this to be a B and then a C where we had that wave B terminate here and then come down for a C wave that would have given us a little bit more confidence in terms of this overall corrective structure. But we didn't get that ladies and gentlemen as you can see by this dia or this vertical or horizontal line, right? So we're now looking for five waves into that possible wave C and that is ultimately the only way I'm currently seeing it with the current data given because this move here can be constructed as an impulse this move here can be constructed as an impulse and it looks like we're now concluding or at least near concluding how this move is going to be moving into a possible C wave now what we're expecting here is a possible huge relief rally I would say or we want to have this as big as we can not surpassing the 70% because based on that guideline we're going to now see that as possible flat territory right or some kind of sideways structure and if that's the case we're looking for this move to come down and reach that deeper level of that 78.6% for that wave two and then off to the upside so that is going to be our overall look for how we're going to be constructing it but again this doesn't have to happen there are a lot of ways we can see the micro time frames it is very tricky i'm not sure if anyone is counting this as i am but right now i'm trying to show it based on my interpretation of how this wave count and based on the separation and psychology of the market is happening as we speak now if this does breach the higher levels of that 618 and even breaching the 70 percent level of the retracement of this whole move depending on where this move terminates we can alternatively see this as a possible flat idea where this now turns into an ABC and we're gonna look for another alternative ABC to the upside where it just completely wipes out this move here and this move here can now alternatively also be a possible larger one two shallow constructed flat structure as a three three five structure that's going to be building our wave two that doesn't necessarily come down all the way as a sharp move into this wave two territory of a larger move to the downside so if that's the case this is just as nice of a looking structure but it is far too early to call for a possible flat structure ladies and gentlemen and we have so you have seen and observed from the past um early videos we have seen a lot of flats terminate way too early and even if they've terminated very nicely as a flat they've have failed miserably right so if that's the case this is just a more ideal perfect idea scenario perfect situation scenario where we're looking for a one two because we really want to be constructing a wave one two after a possible conclusion of a possible wave four right we really want to be concluding a wave one two and have more confidence of breaking the all-time high for working for a larger parent degree wave three so if that's the case that's the kind of two scenarios i'm looking for for um, a wave one two as we have the termination point being labeled here now there is another way we can look at this as i've said we can see this as a possible impulse move to the downside and the only way i'm seeing it right now is seeing this as the possible flat in its in itself meaning that the instead of having that termination wave point one here we're now labeling this as the termination point where we're seeing this as a completed trend meaning that this one two three four five has ended here and we're seeing this as a constructed a b c as a three wave this as the a b c move to the upside as a three wave because this move here was enough of a range where we can say that this was a long wave a b constructed as a triangle and then a c wave as a short c wave five wave move into a b wave now what i like about this idea is that um 
a little bit nervous, but for now, we do have a very nice looking B pocket zone that has completed for that expanded B pocket, meaning that this B zone has ended very nicely in between the 123% and the 138.2%, which is a very, very common guideline target for a possible B wave. And now we have to construct similarly, just like we had for that ABC move to the downside, we have to now force this as a possible impulsive structure. Now, this is where the problem comes in because we don't have a clear five way move to the downside. As I've said, we don't have any clear transitional waves being created. However, the only way I can count this is a possible nested one, two, and then we have an extension where we utilize this as the entire wave three as a one, two, three, four, five. And this being similarly, just like that B wave, this is now going to be our fourth wave. And now this is going to be our impulsive wave for wave five that is now looking for a sharp um, down move words for this impulsive move. So this is going to be our flat structure now. Now what's getting a little bit nervous, like I said about this idea, is that this C wave is extending quite deeply, right? Usually C waves, um, compared to the ratio of this wave A, is that this wave C usually will have a common target uh, area of the 1.618, and that's usually where that zone is going to be um, a kind of a bounce, and that's usually a fake out zone for the uh, bears, meaning that this is a good zone for the bulls to come in and take um, a chance for this for it to be a price reversal. But since this is not happening as we speak, even as we're creating this video, Video, uh, it's getting far deep as for my liking and that's why I've said earlier in my um, previous analysis that a flat becomes less likely once you start to retrace this deep or even if you have a perfect look it's not going to be um, until happening until in hindsight right so this wave two, it can ultimately reach that 2.618 because it is within the literature that the 2.618 is also a target for a 2.618 uh, C wave. So that can technically come here and also fill that zone because that 58.8K is also where that CME gap has started. So it can technically come down here and still give us a little bit of room before we go up to the upside as this being labeled as a one, two move. Now that still would give us a pretty good move to the upside, but again, doesn't give us the best look because this C wave being that deep doesn't give us um, that primary look or the greater look for this possible um, expanded flat being a one, two. So if that's the case, we have to be resorted down to this idea, which is gonna be kind of my prediction for the time being. Um, I'll have more updates as we get on. Make sure to subscribe to the Patreon page if you haven't already to get those updates throughout the midweek and the end of the week. Um, again, I'm gonna be pretty much scheduled to only doing these Bitcoin videos on Mondays only. So. Uh, yeah, this ABC structure, uh, again, separation is key. We don't have a real clear transitional wave, but I have given my idea that this can be the ABC that has now completing very soon as a sharp one, two, or a possible one, two flat. Or if we're extending it larger where we want to be filling that CME gap as much as we can, if we do bounce out of these regions right now, we're going to be looking at a possible uh, WXY scenario where I just removed it, I guess, right? So this C wave being completed, we're gonna be looking for a multiple zigzag of a WXY in the primary degree to come down. And we want this X wave to be extended as much as we can before that 70% retracement. And then looking for another three way move down um, as a uh, ABC to complete that wave Y. That's gonna be bringing us to that 78.6, which is another common target for wave two. And then we're out of, off of uh, here. Uh, ideally, like I said, the reason why we want wave X to be um, as high as we can is that we want equality for this wave Y to be at least in equal length for this. Because if we get a short wave Y um, or short wave X, for example, if we come shorter, it will mean that this move here is gonna go even far deeper and that at that point, it won't be even likely as a wave two, ladies and gentlemen. This might be turning into wave one, two, three, four, five of something larger, of a larger bear structure. So are we going to be transitioning into bear structure? That is up for debate, and I'm more than willing to make that transition if that opportunity arises. But for now, we're working on that narrative right now. Right now, is, there is no real clear reason to turn bearish until this actually happens, right? So either this WXY, and if we do get a bounce very strong off of this low, we can also cons um, similarly create that flat structure where this WXY is now going to be removed and turned into an ABC structure where we're going to see similar targets after that B wave has terminated and we're looking for a deeper C wave. So that's it, ladies 
and gentlemen, a lot of stuff to talk about here. We had a lot of things to talk about. Again, if you're not following me on social media, please do give me a follow on X at X First Global. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do give me uh, a little bit of love and subscribe to the channel because I will do some surprise updates if we get enough demand for these videos. And then also, um, if you're not following me and you want more updates on Discord, there's a Discord membership. The link is in the description below. If you want to join the Patreon, like I said, Patreon is also available for more videos throughout the week. So there's a lot of options for everyone, ladies and gentlemen. I try to keep these options open for everyone. Um, and that would be it, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't seen my previous video on ICP and why I'm also bullish on that, please do give that watch a video as well. I'll have more updates throughout the week for altcoins. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next analysis. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.